Andy Ashby, 0-6 in his field field career field against field Cincinnati. Field. Top of the second. This Hal Morris the goes the other way. And left. And it's That's right out of there. Solo job gone. number 15 for him and extends his hitting streak to 15. This Next one, batter, George, Ashby right gets the defensive field. help. Brett Boone drives field. one. He's Steve there. Finley is there. And Ray Knife yeah, whispering right. sweet nothings to Boone. Or perhaps sweet somethings because that is Brett Boone getting it done. Robbing Ken Caminiti of a hit. Turnabout's fair play in the bottom of the second. Top four now. Eric Davis on first. Reds up one nothing. Hal Morris again going the other way. Davis is running on the play and he's never going to let up. Scoring all the way from first and the Reds have a 2 nothing lead. Bottom of the seventh, 3-1 Cincinnati. One out, men on first and second. Down to Jeff third. Shaw gets John Flaherty. The old 5-4-3. Reds get out of a jam. They go on to win it, 3-1. That snaps a three-game losing streak, but really not too surprising. Five's bottom six, Astros up 3-1. Ellis Burks off Shane Reynolds, number 38, 121 RBIs. is 3-2 Astros. The next batter is Dante Bichette. Dante connect the Mundu number 30 on the season for Bichette and that ties the game at three lots of Rocky players have 30 yard jobs and we will have more on that as this show progresses bottom of the seventh base is loaded we're tied at three and there's Bichette doesn't always have to take it out of the yard off Xavier Hernandez two runs score Bichette drove in four on the evening a career high 129 on the season Hayes isn't scared. Bottom of the first, no score. Otis Nixon grounds the third. Hayes gets dirty, gets up. Nails Nixon at first. Bottom second, still no score. Joe Carter at the plate. Carter lines one to third, and Hayes dives to his left and yells, I love my glove. Joe Torrey smiling in the duck out, yelling, that's a good trade. Bottom of third, Pettit facing Tomas Perez. Perez hits one right off Pettit's knee, and he would go down. But he wants to continue. He starts pitching to see if he can go. Andy All of his Pettit. teammates passing on their love. He would stay in the game. Two batters later, he he's effective getting Jacob Brumfield. Six Ks in all for Pettit. Top five, no score. Tim Raines at bat with two on, and he jacks a double off the center field wall. Mariano Duncan and Derek Jeter come around to score. Yanks lead 2 nothing. Bottom nine, Yankees down. Actually, they lead 4-1. John Wetland in relief, gets a strikeout, earns his 40th save of the season at the Yankees' win. Pettit joins John Smoltz as the only two 21-game winners. Two out. Rafi Palmero drives one into the upper deck. Two-run shot, number 38, 4-1 Baltimore. Next batter, next pitch, Bobby Bonilla does the same thing. Deposit this one into the left field seats, number 27. Six-time Palmero and Bonilla have gone back-to-back. 5-1 Baltimore. Top five, Trevor Miller in more trouble. Taken deep by Brady Anderson. Solo shot number 45 for Brady. 45 for Brady Anderson. Baltimore three homers shy of the major league record. Alan Mills, not Randy Myers in for the save. And he gets the save. Baltimore wins the ball game. The O's keep pace with the Yanks as they both went on Friday. Baltimore wins for the seventh time in and Reggie Jefferson had a couple of men on, and Jefferson moving on up with a 14-game hitting streak. Check out Darren Bragg and Jeff Fry. Fry looks as if he's about to catch him. Bragg's going to be waved in. Fry held up. Ties the game at one. Four batters later, Nomar garcia Perra gets the breaker and smacks it the other way. John Valentin, Mike Greenwell would score. garcia Perra two for five. Red Sox up five to one. Top of the fourth now. Sox trailing 6-1, and here's the big hurt. Way back. And you can put it on the board. Yeah. Oh, there were three of us that time. Number 32 for the big hurt. 5-3 Red Sox up 6-3. Valentin the grounder, Norberto Martin and Norby just a little high. Two runners score. Red Sox take an 8-3 lead. In the eighth, White Sox trailing 8-5. Two are on. Greg Norton, did he go around? Yes. Heath Cliff Slocum gets him, and the Red Sox hold on to win it. Nine to five. As for Roger, he went seven, four Ks, four walks. He had April 13th, Todd Stottlemyre. Seems like he's got a bullseye on him. Mickey Morandini just smacks it right off of Todd Stottlemyre, and he was hit. Goes down later in the game. He would be struck by a ground ball off the bat of Lee Tensley. Stottlemyre again going down, this time making the play. Now, back to this game. Stottlemyre. Again, feeling the pain. Todd Hollinsworth, I mean a scorcher in the bottom of the sixth, went all the way into foul territory. Check it out again. You see it gets him right on the inside of the right leg. Stottlemyre would have to leave the game more on him shortly. T.J. Matthews would replace him. 
Bottom eight, scoreless. Hollinsworth at second. Chad Curtis, a liner that Ron Gant grabs. And he goes back to second for the double play, doubling off Hollinsworth. Scoreless to end the inning. Top of the night, still scoreless. Danny Schaefer batting runners on first and second. Runners are going. The bunt is beautiful. Some people with some anger issues, and you might be able to see why here. Another look. Piazza seems to have that plate blocked somehow. Gary Darling said he missed the tag, and he got in there safely. After the last out in the top of the ninth, Mark Guthrie let Darling have a piece of his mind. He ended up getting tossed, as Russell and Tim Wallet did. Cardinals scored another one on a sack fly, and they win the game 2-0, a pivotal game in the pennant race. Cardinals 2, Dodgers nothing. Rick Batchelor picks up his first Major League victory. One, Two outs, out Paul Molitor chasing 3,000 hits, and that would get him a little closer. Also scores Chuck Knobloch. Twins up 4-1, hit number 29-95, part of a five-run inning. Molitor finished two for four, couple of RBIs, four short of 3,000. Top of the fourth, Dan Wilson. Of Scott clinging back, and it's not coming back. Three-run job, number 16. Go to the top of the seventh, M's now up 9-5. The bases are juiced for Mark Whitten. Mark Whitten, master of his domain. Big time. 461 feet this ball travels. In fact, it hit a curtain in the upper deck. The first ball ever to hit that curtain. They just inning. Top third, one nothing Brewers. But Witt can't escape John Jaha. Jaha takes Witt for a ride to right center. A two-run homer that just does get out. Number 31, one of Jaha's three hits in the game. 3 nothing Brewers and Texas fans hoping they didn't have a repeat of Thursday. Bottom 5-3-2 Brewers. The Rangers come back. Bud Rodriguez hits a shot up the middle. That brings home Kevin Elster. Rodriguez gets nailed, though, being greedy at second base. But it's RBI number 82 for Rodriguez. We're tied at three. Top six, still tied. Jose Valentin gets strong. A solo homer to right center. Homer number 23, 4-3 Brewers. They win the ball game. The Rangers have lost three straight games for the first time in over a month. John Jaha is enjoying this series. He is five for seven with two homers and four RBI in the first. Hill, bottom of the first, one nothing Atlanta. Bernard Gilkey was three for three on the night. Smokes one to the corner. Jason Hartke scores RBI 111 for Gilkey. It was 2-1 Mets in the top of the fifth until TP takes care of that. Two run shot off Robert Person, number 11 for Pendleton, 3-2 Braves. Top of the eighth, Mets up 4-3. Braves had runners on first and third, one out. Lemmer. Chops it to first. Roberto Pettigini fires. Jeff Blauser back from that bad thumb pinch running. Beats the wrap. Tied up at eight. We had a 53-minute rain delay. In the bottom of the eighth, Ray Ordonez chops one down the line. Two RBIs on the night for Ordonez. This one made it 5-4. The Mets would add another to make it 6-4. Top of the ninth, Derek Wallace gets Pendleton, but he reached on a wild pitch. Chipper, sit on it, Potsy. That's two strikeouts. Ryan Klesko, sit on it, Mouth. Three Ks, but only two outs. And then Mike Mordecai, sit on it, Officer Kirk. You have to reach deep into the Happy Days cast for four Ks in an inning, and that's what Wallace got. Mets hang Montreal. Shane Andrews coming. was in an 0 for 36 slump until then. And it'll snap you out of it. Number 18 for Andros made it 2 0. Earlier, Henry Rodriguez had hit his 35th. Top of the fourth, Marlins were down 2 1. Charlie Johnson, the grounder. Andrews makes the play, bounces it. No scoop for you. Greg Colburn would score that, ties it up at two. Bottom of the sixth, same score. Runners on first and second, two out. Rondell White delivering two out single off of Curtin Miller. David Segui would score in the Expos, win it three to two. Montreal's won three in a row now, and hey, they're only five and a half behind the Braves in the way Atlanta's going. Who knows? Pedro Martin point for Jeff King, and Jeff King, oh, he loves it when the bases are loaded. A four-run homer. Call it a grand slam. Do not call it a grand slam homer. That's redundant. Career grand slam number six for King. Homer number 29, seven nothing bucks. Esteban Loiza, Desi Wilson. Desi, you're going to have some splaining to do. Pirates win at nine nothing. First career shutout for Loiza. Evans on third. JT Snow. Smokes Tim Belcher's pitch. Jose Offerman signed a two year contract extension before the game, not just after that catch. Bottom of the third, 4 2 Royals. Abbott struggling again. Joe Vidiello. Just slaps it down the right field line. Chris Steins, Craig Paquette would score 40 RBIs for Vidiello, not against Abbott in that inning. 6-2 Royals, and 
John McNamara not happy, and boy, neither is Jim. Eight runs, ten hits, and five innings. Royals win it eight to two. Tim Belcher, though, much happier than Abbott. He scattered ten hits over seven innings. He's 14 and nine. 14 the first, no score. Two men on for Dave Magadan. Slices one down the left field line. Mark Grace, Luis Gonzalez would score. Two nothing Cubbies. Bottom of the sixth now. Two one Chicago. A couple on for Rhino. Just finds a little hole, little bleeder gets through there. Grace on base, scores again. 86 RBIs for Sandberg, 3-1 Cubs. And that would be plenty for Steve Traxel. Benito Santiago is toast. Four Ks for Traxel. He gets his 12th win, but his first in his last five starts. Cubs.